today in this class we are going to know about cellular mobile communication so first of all i just want to explain that what is communication communication is nothing but transfer of information or telecasting or broadcasting of information from one place to another place the, the transmitting place we call it as source and the receiving place we call it as destination so information uh, transferring from one place to another place is known as communication it is done through radio uh, electricity or radio waves that means it is done in two forms that means uh, through electricity means it's a wider communication and through radio waves means it's uh, wireless communication so the information has been transferred from one place to another place by means of electricity or radio waves. that means by means of wide communication or wireless communication whereas coming to the mobile mobile means nothing but the device that which is communicating is in motion or the device in a moving state that means the communication which is done where the while the device is in moving condition that means the information has been transferred from one place to another place while the device is in mobile state so that's why we call it as mobile communication then what about cellular cellular is nothing but this mobile communication is based upon cellular concept it's nothing but here the, this is the uh, example of a cell here the cellular concept while coming to the cellular concepts here we use a, a word called cell this is the shape of a cell a cell is nothing but the coverage area of a base transceiver station here is it's nothing but here we can uh, see that this location is that about base transceiver station in our local language we can call it as cell towers that means the coverage area of a cell tower is known as a cell basically theoretically the the uh, coverage area we can uh, denote the shape is hexagonal shape so the total cellular concepts are uh, based on hexagonal shape that means whereas coming to the practical shape of uh, this cell is, is uneven this is the practical shape and this is the theoretical shape so whereas coming to the as i already said about the base transceiver station the station which is known as base transceiver that means the device is used for transmitting and receiving so this device is used for transmitting and receiving of information so coming to the base transceiver station that base transceiver station is this mobile cellular mobile communication comes under the full duplex communication as we said that this is a full duplex communication it's nothing but the transmission and receiving has been done at a time what is this full duplex initially we have a communication simplex communication like uh, coming to this simplex it is that it is that the uh, the communication or uh, the transmission of information from one place to another uh, place is been done in single frequency channel that means here there is no uh, backward communication either it's one way communication this is about simplex communication for example uh, for the simplex communication we can say that it's a pager Uh, and some uh, devices that which are used for one way communication whereas coming to the simplex uh, uh, and the second one is half duplex communication it is that the transfer of transferring the transmitting of information and receiving of information was not done at a time but in two different time slots that means the first one uh, transmission has been done for the uh, have, have taken for the for one frequency channel and for the receiving it has taken uh, second uh, another frequency channel whereas coming to the full duplex coming to the full duplex here it is that a device which is used to transmit the information and receive the information using a sing, single frequency channel at a single time slot uh, the transmission and receiving has been done at a, at a time so this is about three different types of uh, uh, communication whereas coming to this uh, main unit of main unit of cellular mobile communication that means as we are observing that these two bts stations where in the, our uh, regular language we can call it as base station that means base transceiver this antenna is used for transmitting and receiving of information where this is mobile station in, in, in user language we can call it as cell phone or mobile phone where the communication from one mobile to another mobile is done using the bts stations that means the transferring of information from one bts station to another bts station using this mobile station 
and this type of or uh, the exchange of information or transfer of information from BTS station to another BTS station is nothing but the transfer of information from one cell to another cell. This is the main concept of cellular process. That means information has been transferred from one cell to another cell while the device is in mobile state. That means here the main the main uh, point we have to say is that kind of process. Without this kind of process, we can't use this mobile cellular communication. That means kind of is nothing but handing over the information from one cell to another cell. That means the information of a particular mobile station or a user has been transferred from one uh, BTS station to another BTS station. Whereas coming to this uh, diagram, you can see that there are seven hexagonal shaped cells. That means one cell we call it one part we can call it as cell. Whereas the seven or a group of seven cells we call it we call it as cluster. That means the cluster size is always n equals to seven. That means it's a, a cluster contains of seven cells. That means information transferred from one cell to another cell using the uh, main concept called kind of process. Whereas uh, each cell is having one BTS station. That means one BTS station that which covers the whole cell. That means when a person is moving from one place to another place, from this cell to another cell, the information of this particular user has been transferred to the next cell. That means transfer, transferring of information from one BTS station of a one particular cell to another BTS station of another particular cell. So this process continuous goes on. So the main concept that means transferring of information from one cell to another cell, another cell. If the distance is far larger, that means almost uh, a, a, a person is moving with a speed of 100 kilometers. 100 kilometers per hour. At that time, we can use this cellular concept. For the, if a person is staying in, in this particular cell, if a person is staying in this particular cell for a long time, we can call it as dwell time. That we can denote it as TD. That means dwell time. So this is about the main cellular mobile communication.